Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. I'm going to give you a, a thorough overview of the article here. I, I will read through certain sections within the article, of course. There's a link to the article in the description. You're going to be aware of this. This is going to be headline news. This topic will be milked by the true crime YouTubers and whomever else that do like to draw in the donos uh, by focusing on high profile cases. So I'm just going to dip in and dip out i'm not looking to linger on this case really any further uh, gabby petito's parents are awarded three million dollars from brian laundry's estate in the first of three lawsuits so without going through the full details um you'll remember that brian laundry returned to florida and stayed with his parents um and there with that there was suspicion as to whether or not brian laundry informed his parents <clears throat> that he had indeed killed murdered gabby petito uh, so there were question marks there as to whether or not uh, brian laundry's parents were complicit in aiding brian laundry in escaping because he did escape uh and um evading the police and indeed aiding him to have the option the ability to take his own life in the florida marsh in which he did um in his own in his own time frame and thus avoid judicial justice so you know uh, at the risk of repeating myself there were question marks about brian laundry's awareness and their level of complicity there's been three lawsuits against them if i understand correctly and this particular lawsuit um has ended in a settlement it was due to go to trial in december uh, the lawyers between gabby petito's parents and brian laundry's parents have come to an agreement and that agreement is to award gabby petito's parents three million dollars coming out from brian laundry's estate here's a question does brian laundry's estate have three million dollars to give here's the answer no no it doesn't um so that being the case it's very much an arbitrary number and i'm gonna throw in an opinion here it's not necessarily locked in stone it's just a bit of a knee-jerk reaction i do feel that this is i mean obviously it is i'm, I'm right in about what i'm about to say it is punitive obviously i mean that's what an award is it's punitive it's punishing for uh brian laundry's parents it is punishing so really the question is whether or not that punishment uh is justified um and i'm not sure about that i mean i i guess if brian laundry's parents were complicit in aiding and abetting his escape his evasion of the justice system then i would say that uh, yeah uh punishment is deserved uh but i think it's fair to say that that complicity has not been proven um so it would be a real shame if the family uh the estate uh having to pay out three million dollars or whatever it is that they are able to come up with um if they weren't involved if the parents did not know that brian laundry had indeed killed gabby petito if the parents did not aid or abet or act in any way complicit with brian laundry's evasion from the authorities uh so th those are my mixed thoughts on the subject but either way the the sum total of this lawsuit is that three million dollars has been awarded through an agreement to be paid from brian laundry's estate meaning brian laundry's parents through to gabby petito's parents although gabby petito's parents say that whatever money they do receive will be going towards the gabby petito foundation that's all the information that we have um, so it is obviously very very sad a young lady was murdered a young man killed himself we're not really fussed about that he's you know he's guilty so fuck that guy um it seems a shame for the parents uh brian laundry's parents to be punished unless that is they were complicit uh complicit and uh, th there is a chance that they were perhaps a good chance so there we go i'm gonna wrap things up take care